The seventh Field of Dreams fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club of Emerald Valley will be held Thursday night at PK Park. Billy Spots met with members of the club to hear more about the goals of the fundraiser and what it provides for kids in the area. After raising close to $200,000 last year, the Field of Dreams auction and dinner is back this year, hoping to raise money to help with the Boys and Girls Club of Emerald Valley's after-school programs. Memberships only cost a family $40 per year per child, and the community then backfills the rest to say that this is a safe, important place for our kids, and it's better that they're with the Boys and Girls Club than wandering on the streets on their own or being home left alone. Over 50 businesses, individuals, and more from all over Eugene and Springfield will be in attendance to show their support for the club and help them raise money through the night. The Field of Dreams event has been the largest fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club of Emerald Valley since it began, and a big part of why it's been so successful for them is because of the Eugene Emerald's general manager's affiliation with the club itself. Yeah, so Alan Benavides has been a, a strong supporter of the Boys and Girls Club, serves on our board of directors, but he's also a club kid himself, and he knows the importance of what the services that we provide here at the club. One of the long-term goals of these kind of fundraisers is to help the club reach more and more kids around Lane County as the club CEO says that there's not nearly enough youth development services in the area. With this fundraiser, what we're doing is we're trying to open new service locations, and so we're actively partnering with 4J to actually open another site at River Road um, in partnership with them. But long term, what we'd love to do is to be able to build a large facility that is a Boys and Girls Club specific to help us serve hundreds of additional kids. Sorensen adds that with the club's current locations, they aren't able to serve as many kids as they would like. Reporting in Eugene, I'm Billy Spots. The club's after-school programs are currently full with wait lists currently filling up as well. More information on the fundraiser and the club itself can be found on our website.